Welcome to InfoGamer. Just in case you forgot, my name's Nathan. My name's Mark. And today we're going to be showing you how to create another prefab. And this prefab is for the standard platform that we will be using in our game. Now in Doodle Jump, there's many platforms. There's ones that move and there's ones that break when you jump on them. This one's just going to be the default platform that's stationary and doesn't break or anything. And then in future videos, we'll show you how to make the platforms that move. And prefabs are important, so let's get started. We're now going to show you how to create the platform. And this is the prefab for the standard platform in our game. So we will start by creating a sprite. We'll go to Game Object, 2D Object, and Sprite. Now, as before, our sprite has no image in it. So we'll need to add an image. We'll go to our Sprites folder. And under our Sprite Sheet, we're going to use the red platform for our standard platform. So we'll click on that and drag it into the Sprite field on our Sprite Renderer. Now we'll need to scale it down so it's the right size. And to do this, we're going to grab our box dude prefab, drag them out there so we can get the platform to the right proportions as our box dude. So I'll drag it down, probably about right there. And then I want it to be a little skinnier in the Y direction. So I feel like that's good. Now we're going to add some physics to it. So we'll click on Add Component, 2D Physics, and Box Glider. Then we'll click Trigger, and we'll make sure that it's the right size, which it is. You can see it's a little hard to see, but there's a green box going around our platform. Now that we have the Box Glider added, we need to add a tag for our platform. So we'll go Add Tag. Then we'll click the plus sign and we'll type platform. Now we'll go back to our platform and select platform in our tag drop down menu. Now we'll just rename our platform. We'll call it platform one. Now we will drag it into our prefabs folder. So you can see that we have our box dude in our prefabs folder and our platform. Now we can delete our box dude prefab from our scene. Now for the final step in this video, we need to position the platform that we have in our scene view at the right position so that when our box dude spawns in our scene, he will fall and land on our platform. So we can click on our spawn point and we see that it's below our platform so we want to make sure that our platform is positioned below the spawn point because gravity will pull our box dude downward into our platform so now I'll hit play and you'll see that the box dude will kind of phase through our platform and as long as he starts above our platform we have our platform in the right position So it was very quick, but you saw that the box dude was, was instantiated above our platform, and that's what we want. But make sure that you save your scene and your project. Hey, welcome back. That was a pretty fast tutorial on how to put a prefab into Unity. This is the platform prefab that we just did, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you were able to follow along and put your own prefabs into Unity. Yeah. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for all our future videos. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. 